Hello fellow Pokemon trainers, Slacker here, and today we are talking about something freaking awesome. Now, as many of you may know, if you saw my other previous video, I enjoy shiny hunting a lot, and wow, is this amazing that we actually have a new form of shiny Pokemon in this freaking game in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, that is insane. Um, myself, many other Pokemon fans, whether you're hardcore or just casual, you know, you know, you like shinies. And most people have always wished that there was a second form of shiny, like a super rare shiny that would be a little different. And instead of 1 in 4,000 odds, it'd be 1 in 40,000 odds, something crazy like that. Now, in this game, we do have something called a... A square shiny I guess is what people are calling it it's normally when a Pokemon is shiny it it when it appears in the wild or comes out of your pokeball it will I'll even show you let's go find a wild Pokemon here hopefully I have my shiny with me I do all right and if you saw my other video you know I have a shiny uh, choodle here Look at perfect little Anish. Good and wreck. Nice uh, four times effective against my Chewel, so it's perfect. Now watch this here. Boom. See those squares that came off them? Normally you see the shine and then a bunch of stars come off. My Chewel did the shine and then squares. Um, hopefully yeah, this Anish isn't going to chase us down here. That's good. Um, so yeah... It's crazy. I have a square shiny apparently and there's a lot of debate over this. So first off uh, Credit for the f for actually pinning down and looking through the code and figuring this out to Kurt here um, At Kef I don't even know how to say his name at Kefotix, I guess is the way you say it. I'm gonna I guess I'll put this up on the screen right now Hopefully I remember to do that in editing um, but yeah, he says uh, Shiny Pokemon rarity has been split same 1 in 4096 odds to obtain a shiny, but there are two types of shiny. 15 out of 16 times you're going to see stars. 1 out of 16 times you'll see squares. Square rarity is 1 in 65,536. Now, we have a great debate going on here, folks. A lot of people have seen... Hi, kitty. Hello. Sorry, my cat needs some love. Um, A lot of people have seen the squares you know a lot of people have seen it for it to be one in 65,000 like I have a freaking square one right now it's my only shiny and it's a square one um unfortunately I don't I wasn't recording when I caught it so I, I don't remember or I can't go back and see what what it looked like when it appeared unfortunately um but yeah so the debate is something like this some people are saying that if you chain for your shiny, it will have squares. And if you run into it full odds, or if you uh, breed for it, it'll have stars. But I'm also hearing that just because it was square in the wild when you caught it, doesn't mean it will be square when it comes out of its Pokeball. Um, so, yeah, it's a big debate. My Choodle, I, I, hard, I was chaining, but I hardly chained at all before I got it. I was very lucky to get the Choodle. Um... Yeah, it was just, like I said, it, it actually kind of sucked because I was freaking, I wanted to record and show off, you know, the method and show my shiny, and I was just messing around with the new method, and boom, shiny choodle. Like, I don't even know, it might have only been 10 in or something. Um, yeah, so, what was that? Um, yeah, so, yeah, you can, you can go to this dude's, uh, Twitter here, and you can read through the comments, um, from what, I, yeah, most people are seeing the squares most of the time. Sorry, and if you hear my clicking and stuff, I'm actually uh, reading right now on Twitter. Um, yeah, a lot of people are saying they've only seen squares, square shinies. Um, and what I need from you guys, uh, my last video did pretty well. It got like 400 views or something, which is absolutely crazy. And I really appreciate all of you people who watched it. And a couple of you commented, a couple of you subscribed. Um, if you could, if you're watching this and you want to subscribe, that'd be great. I'm going to keep putting up Sword and Shield content. Um, probably do some other games some other day, but we're going to stick with, uh, the Pokemon content for quite some time here. Um, yeah. Sorry. Just figured I'd say that. Um, 
Yeah, this is this is a uh, this is crazy. And what a lot of people are saying actually is that this is a glitch and that it shouldn't be this way that they did intend to have the squares be a super rare shiny, but something to do with the chaining method and um well something to do with the chaining method it makes it end up that you have a better chance of getting the the squares this is what kurt said afterwards he said in a surprising twist it looks like chain shinies that are destined to be shiny are forced to be shiny in such a way that the zor xor results in zero parentheses squares so under certain conditions you're more likely to get one than the other and i believe what he's referring to is the chaining you know that in the certain circumstances are chaining <sighs> it's kind of crazy because if that's true then that's what most people are going to do you know it's basically if the if this information we have right now is true then it's basically like if you breed for a shiny you're going to have stars if you chain for a shiny you're going to have squares um which is a little lame you know like I, I would have loved if it was really that rare, but like I said, some people do th believe by looking at the coding that that this is a glitch and that something happened because um, the way shinies have always been found is it kind of it kind of compares a randomly generated number to your to your trainer ID number, and that's what determines if it's going to be shiny or not. So this is not this is no different that it has to like really match up with your trainer ID. For you to have the square shiny um yeah so i think it's some kind of well i don't think I, this is very early in the game please keep in mind maybe i should put this in the beginning of the video but please keep in mind that this is super early of figuring this stuff out so we don't have all the facts yet um but i just want to make a quick video because it's very exciting for me for other shiny hunting peeps in the world that you know enjoy shiny hunting like i do that it's very exciting like i don't know i'm sure some of you have played fan games where you know they have like rainbow shinies or you know i, I don't even know what else but you know it's always been a dream to have the regular shiny pokemon and the freaking you know rainbow shiny or dark shiny or some other crazy shit that's like one in a freaking million fucking chance you know so yeah so that's all that's pretty much all i got to say here um what i what i would love because you know first off i did not imagine 400 people would watch my last video it was only like my fourth video up and uh what i would love is if a bunch of people watch this one as well can you please comment if you've gotten a shiny and please tell me because i'm trying to you know compile this together for myself and for any anyone in the future when i uh keep putting videos up if you got a shiny you know and also i'm 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 definitely replying to all the comments anyone leaves on my videos right now um if you got a shiny, please comment that you got it, what you got, and please in what it looked like when you when it you know generated, whether it was through an egg or through chaining or just random odds, and then what it looks like when it comes out of your Pokeball. Um, so yeah, what what shiny you got, what it looked like when it popped up, and what it looks like when you send it out of its Pokeball. Um, hopefully you caught it. <laughs> um, yeah that that would be very helpful we can maybe maybe together in this comment section right now we can we can figure out the mystery and try to kind of put it together a little bit here um yeah and if anyone else if anyone who's watched my kind of tips videos here and then you know maybe looked at my other two videos i i started on nuzlocke on the channel um if you're wondering hey there's only two episodes i am going to continue it uh you know i've just been making these other videos where we kind of chat about what's going on, have some tips and tricks, whatever, um, and I'm going to continue to do these too, and I am going to continue the Nuzlocke, I don't know, e literally, even if two people are watching it, even if it gets two views every time I upload it, I I'll keep, I'll keep doing it, because I'm enjoying it, and, you know, I, I, if anyone's watching it, I don't want to do two, two episodes and then stop, you know, that's lame, um, so yeah, if, if for, if for some reason you're watching my Nuzlocke playthrough, um, I'm gonna record an episode right when I'm done with this one, and yeah, and I'll get that up either, probably tomorrow, probably, uh, Thursday is when the next episode will go up, and then I'm gonna try to do the Nuzlocke, you know, every day, because I wanna continue that, I wanna play through that file, this file I've kinda gone ahead and stuff, and, uh, you know, get, it, just so I can... You know, the big thing is I'm trying to get through the game. I work a full-time job. 
um, so it's a little tough, but I'm trying to get through the game as quickly as possible, but at the same time, I'm trying to catch every Pokemon to complete my decks so I can shiny hunt on this file and um, get Pokemon with the good abilities that I want to make teams because I already have a bunch of great ideas for teams and stuff. I mean, maybe I'll do some showdown lives, but I really want to do Wi-Fi battles on the channel here. So, yeah, if you're watching, I love you. 400 of you freaking watched my last video. That's freaking insane, dude. That's literally insane to me. It's like fucking crazy uh, that 400 people watch that. <laughs> um, yeah, if you could sub. I know lots of freaking people have like have like sub goals of 500,000 subscribers, 200, 300,000, blah, blah, blah. My sub goal is 25. So if it got 25, I'd be freaking happy as hell. Um, all right, if you're watching, I love you. Please don't forget, comment down what Pokemon did you get. What did it look like when it popped up, and what the fuck does it look like when it comes out of the ball? Alright, much love, Slacker out.